Hello, friends. It is I, your old pal, the Obscurus Tourist. And today I come to you from Brockville, Ontario. Yes, Brockville, Ontario. Between Montreal and Toronto, perhaps between Ottawa and Kingston. So many betweens, a between land of sorts. And right behind me, I am here because look at this world famous or Canadian famous, perhaps it's Ontario famous. It is the infamous Brockville Tunnel. I am here to walk through this tunnel, which I have heard so much about and have never had the opportunity to come see for myself until today. I'm driving to Montreal and I thought, let's stop in Brockville. So here we are. So let's explore this wonderful, wonderful little place. Canada's first underground railroad. Let's check it out. As you walk into this place, look at this, a little sign denoting the Brockville Tunnel built in 1860. And it is 1,730 feet of tunnel and incorporated in 1853, ran from Brockville to Sand Point near Armprior with a branch line from Smith Falls to Perth. Its first train left Brockville's Grand Trunk Station on January 25th, 1859, almost two years before finances permitted completion of the tunnel. The Brockville and Ottawa amalgamated in 1878 with the Canada Central Railway, which was absorbed by the Canadian Pacific Railway in 1881. So a lot of history here in Brockville and especially with this associated tunnel. More historical plaques here by the train tunnel. And there it is, right over to the right of me. Very excited to get in there. You can see just how close it is to the shores of Lake Ontario, right there. If I raise it up, look at that. The Brockville. Van, otherwise known as, in layman's terms, the Brockville caboose. The ass end of any train. This would have passed through the Brockville tunnel at one point, but here it is for reference for all to see at the mouth of the tunnel. Unfortunately, I don't have time today, but you can even take a trackless train through this tunnel. How awesome is that? Look at this. Perhaps we will see it in action while we do our little walkthrough, but uh, I don't know, who knows? Maybe I might get excited enough and delay my visit to Montreal by another hour or so to ride this beautiful trackless train. Let's go into the tunnel. Here's a little more information about the railway tunnel here. Again, in writing, Canada's first railway tunnel. And here's a little map. We are right here. Look at that. That's that little trackless train that I showed you. And it runs all the way, all the way to the tunnel gorge up on Pearl Street. That is a very long way. And look at this. What an amazing place. And there it is. And something really neat is they still have a little remnant of the tunnel right there, etched in stone as we walk in here. Hopefully it's not too dark, but check that out. Love the lighting in here. This is so 
So cool. Look at this. How awesome is this? One of the coolest parts of this isn't the tunnel itself. Well, I mean, the tunnel is absolutely amazing, but this, to walk in here, it is completely free. 100% free. You just have to make the trip to Brockville. And right above me, I, we might get a little bit of water on us. Ah! Leaky roof right there. Look at that. You can see. So this is very interesting. You can see all of the original brick. This is so cool. And although this tunnel is free to explore, listen, make a donation, help support this tunnel because these things are not free to maintain. They do have staff here. I'm not sure if they're volunteers, but listen, this helps to maintain this thing for you to enjoy. Some of the original, I don't know, well, these have been service shafts. Not really sure, but they're there. The lighting in here is absolutely amazing. And this tells you exactly what they were. Ventilation shafts. Look at this, a little Tom, is that Tom Cochran pumping through Brockville? I don't know, is Tom Cochran from Brockville? I'm gonna have to investigate this because uh, that is, Look at this. We're right underneath King Street right here. That is 28 feet above, otherwise known as 8.6 meters. So we are certainly down here. along the side here very leaky tunnel look at this old limestone what a cool texture that is almost seems like pudding but it's not it's rock it's limestone and look at this growing out of the limestone some pretty things An ever leaky tunnel very, very cool down here. I have to say, far cooler than I expected. This is so neat. I love that it's been preserved. Oh, yeah, if you're gonna come down here, you are definitely <laughs> going to get some water on you. I'm, uh, I got a hat on. But it's pretty, uh, it's pretty wet down here. Quite amazing that they just cut into the stone. I'll put some information down below this video about how this tunnel was made and how long it took to make this tunnel. Because the more I'm in here, the more I'm interested about its history. And right here, that. hear that sound that is the sound of a train so we are definitely in it this right here above us look at that that's about 30 feet above us and you can see the rain not rain but droplets coming in from above that is the extraction shaft if you had trouble down here and you needed help this is the area where you could be rescued. And now we are below Pine Street. 57 feet below Pine Street. So we are, doesn't feel like I'm on an incline, but I am on an incline here. Clearly going down. Actually, though I might be wrong, Pine Street is on a hill, so 
This isn't actually going down, but Pine Street and Uptown Brockville is going up. So I'm right after all. My instincts that I'm not going down were correct. One of the cool things about this is the all Canadiana soundtrack that is pumping through this entire tunnel. Now we've got a little, a little, I wish I brought my sunglasses. I wish I brought my sunglasses because this would have been very fitting to wear my sunglasses, not particularly at night, but in the tunnel with a little Corey Hart pumping through. How Canadian is that? Love this place. The lighting here is absolutely mind-blowing. Very cool. They have really put a lot of effort into making this a reason to visit Brockville. Just so cool. And if you're keeping note, this is the third street we have passed under. This is James Street, 56 feet below James Street. And we are almost at the end of the tunnel. What a very cool walk. Very cool, you can see, look at the steam coming off the lights as the rainwater drips down. Very surreal. Highly, highly recommend this attraction. For those of you who have not been to Brockville, these lights are really making me feel happy. A little wired and a little weird. You'll never believe it. The train is coming. The train is coming. I am so excited about this. Look at it. And it even has. How cool is this? about you but I kind of want to sit in the caboose that's pretty cool One other thing to be aware of down here is I've got some pretty good shoes on, but you know what? The water has already seeped through them and I got a bit of a soaker just walking through from the one entrance to another. So something to be aware of. Probably perhaps best to do later in the day when you've done all your walking because you're gonna have some soggy feet if you do this right away. And this is the last street, Pearl Street, just 33 feet above. Love this. And this is the other half. And look at this beautiful walk you come out into 
the Brock Trail. You go from south. I am currently walking south to north, and this is the north side of the Brock Trail. Absolutely gorgeous. I would, I would love to ride my bicycle through here. If you watch my channel, you know I love a good bike ride. But unfortunately, this is a pedestrian zone. No bicycles. And in fact, look at this. Walking speed is the only speed. And this includes, what else? Bicycles. So no bicycles for me today. Just, just bipedally exploring this tunnel the natural way. Well, friends, that is it for me here in Brockville, Ontario, right on the cusp of the provincial border with Quebec. Listen, I had no idea how cool this place was, is, and I'm sure many of you had no idea either, but I am going to make a very big mental note of bringing friends here whenever I am in the neighborhood again. Heck, I'll even just tell friends to come here on their own because it's that cool. For now, it is the obscurest tourist from Brockville, Ontario. Underground the city. Stay beautiful and stay safe. Until our next adventure, see you later. Toot, toot.